obviously I was a new robber and a personal front as well as um, walking alongside him as well and I think everybody who knows him around the football club will say what a great guy he was and um, it was devastating to, to hear the news but um, no, I was happy that I was lucky enough to know him outside the football as well. In what way? You saw him socially or? Well, I think the kind of Scottish connection, obviously, I, I moved down here four years ago, I was only 20 years old and um, he, I think Rob would have came out maybe six months or so before me, so um, with that Scottish connection we'd go for dinner and we'd a few times um, see each other outside the football. Um, I'd speak to him quite regularly, but um, yeah, no, it, was just, it was tough to kind of take the last couple of weeks. And of course, during those difficult periods when you had long injury layoffs, I mean, was he was he a support to you then? Massively, it was, it was great. Um, I think I can speak on behalf of any player who's came to Brentford in the last three or four years. He he's um, he works very closely to, to make you feel at home. And um, I think Neil Mopai was saying to me the other day, he waited with him for like eight hours in, in the hotel the first day he got here in France. So that just kind of shows the kind of the guy he was that he would take time out of his own time and make sure you were okay. Just thinking of that effect on you of those long periods layoff, um, I think we more and more people in the football business understanding the effect, how tough it is when you know a professional footballer doesn't get to play for six, nine months at a time. And I can remember one end of season where the players were doing a walk of honour and you were at the back with your head with under a cap looking yeah. pretty low. Um, yeah. And then to see you scoring that goal, I think it was against Middlesbrough. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, the lows and the highs, really. Yeah, well, obviously, the incidents like that, when, when they're just kind of walking on around the pitch, you kind of feel that you're not involved, which is how you, you feel when you're injured anyway. Um, but, yeah, obviously, the game against Middlesbrough last year was my first sort of start of that season. Um, but, yeah, I was delighted to, to score the goal, and it just shows that as much as it can be as bad as it is it's, there's always something around the corner and how are you feeling about your position in the squad now it's been up and down I think I, I was confident at the start of the season I was I was playing um, quite regularly but the last um, maybe a month or so I haven't quite played away from home which has been um, frustrating in itself but we, we've got a big enough squad to to change it around when it's not quite working, um, but I just hopefully I'm, I'm in contention for the weekend, so hopefully I can I can put my name back on the starting sheet. And, and take can we just ask it. about the contractual position? There was a story that came from Scotland that said that you had been offered a new contract by Brentford, but had not at this stage accepted it. Is, is that the situation? No, well the the contract offer came maybe a, a month or so ago. Um, and my agent is speaking to the club and will continue to speak at the club but to be honest with everything that's kind of happened um, with the club for the last two or three weeks has it's been the last kind of thing that I've thought about. So, yeah. And what do you make of uh, Rangers under uh, new management? Yeah, well, it, it seems to be going okay. I think, um, I think they're definitely playing a nicer style of football. Um, and we just need to kind of pick up the results a little bit. And one that you might one day feel like going back to? I said, like, for the day that I left, I, I could always see myself playing with them again, but um, just when that time is, I don't think I'll, I'll know at this moment. Um, I think I'm just focused on, on Brentford as it is just now and trying to play as much football as I can. So the fact that you are still continuing the contract negotiations, though they've obviously gone quiet for obvious reasons, does that mean you would actually like to stay at Brentford? Yeah, most definitely. Um, I think for me, as I say, the, the history that I've had the last four years here, the main thing for me is just that I play, and I play as much football as I can. So um, as long as I'm doing that, then I'm sure we can speak about contracts and everything else. Thanks very much. Thank you.